all these fantastic promises, they sound great for a guy like you that's been in the business for 10 plus years that owns a software company that's clearly had mega success. You probably have all kinds of unfair advantages. You're you. How am I going to get the same result when I'm just me? Okay. And so I just want like, this is not cherry picked. This is just one of the, one of the emails that I picked um, that I got in the last couple of months from a, from a guy named Alan. And he said, Hey, I just wanted to update you on a previous email. I started using the playbook that you taught in this Craigslist webinar that I'm about to show you guys. And after a few days of trial and error, I started getting steady leads. So literally implementing one playbook, the one that I'm about to teach you guys this afternoon. And he says, I received a lead on March 20th, and today, May 10th, we closed only 51 days later. Now, he doesn't share in the email, but that turned out to be a $9,000 commission, okay, that he got 51 days after starting, after implementing the playbook that I'm going to show you guys today. So that's just a regular agent, a regular guy. He doesn't have the unfair advantages. He doesn't own a software company. He's not Chris Jones, the founder of Gorilla Realty. He's just a regular guy that went out and did the work. So I want to issue Jones. Don't be the 80% of agents that are just going to sit on this information. Be the 20% that are going to take action and get a result within the next 24 hours. Okay. And you can be like Alan and within 50 days, easily have a closing plus a lot more business in your pipeline. And now I'm going to take you straight into lesson number one. So let's get tuned in. Lesson number one is how to find your lead number. And we've put together a great downloadable resource for you to use. It's uh, at gorillarealty.com slash lead number. You can open a tab now and go and get that resource. Or if you want to wait till the end, I'll actually share all the links that you need in one spot so you can save them and you can go get the resources. Then it's entirely up to you. So how to find your lead number and what is a lead number. Okay. So when you go to gorillarealty.com slash lead number and enter your email address, you're going to download a calculator that looks like this. This is a calculator that I still use in my own business every single year at the beginning of the year. And what I do is I fill out all of these fields that are highlighted in red. Okay. And what we're doing is we're going to start with our goals, okay? And we like to boil our goals down into a target monthly income. So some of you guys, we talked at the beginning, I want to do 20 units, I want to do 50 deals, uh, whatever the case is. That's a step ahead. We really want to start, like, why do we all get into real estate in the first place? And the answer is we wanted to make money. We want to make a great living. We wanted to provide for our family. We wanted to save for the future. Maybe we wanted to travel. We wanted to be our own boss. But more importantly, we wanted to make a lot of money, Okay. And so what you're going to do is you're going to start by inputting your target monthly income, okay, or how much you would like to net on a monthly basis. And then you're going to fill in some basic market stats. So you're going to do average sale price. Uh, in this example, we're doing 252K. And then average commission side, two and three quarters for this market that we did this with. And then a company split of 75%. Um, I want you guys to focus on your effective company split, okay? So not... Not what, you, not what you make on paper. I want you to focus on, uh, and there's a really easy tool. Um, I'm going to jump in the chat. There's a tool that we built called Split Crunch. I'm going to share it in the chat right now. And splitcrunch.com. If you don't know what your effective company split is after all the dust settles every year, because a, a lot of us start at one and then we graduate once we've done a bunch of deals, uh, we cap or whatever. I want you to figure out what your effective company split. And if you jump in the chat, I just shared a, an app that we built called Split Crunch that allows you to calculate your effective company split at the end of the year, okay? Anyway, then you're gonna put plan in some vacation. I recommend never take less than four weeks vacation. A lot of realtors are used to working 52, 52 weeks a year, never take a vacation. And they would swear to you it's because they love the business, they're passionate about what they do. And hey, if you're passionate about what you do, you don't need to take vacation, right? But that's, that's not how it works. Okay. You could be passionate about what you do, but the real reason why most agents don't take vacation when I actually dig into their business and figure out why the real reason why they don't take vacation, if they're honest, is because when you look under the hood, their business is held together with silly putty and bubble gum and paper clips. And if they were to take four weeks off, God forbid, okay, they would come back and they would essentially be unemployed. The whole thing would fall apart. And so the reason why agents don't take vacation is out of fear that if I stop doing everything that I'm doing every single day, that it's all going to fall apart. I'm going to lose everything. Okay. But if you come at your business from a different approach using this reverse engineer calculator, you should be able to plan a vacation. And more importantly, you should be able to take control of your business and your marketing so that you always know where your next deal is coming from, regardless of how much time you take off. Okay. So once you've, once you've filled out all of this and the last thing you have to do is you have to figure out 
what percentage of your business do you want to come from buyers versus sellers? Okay. And so once you've figured that all out, it's going to, it's going to work backwards and help you figure out what are the ingredients that are going to go into making that a reality. And we boil everything down to what we call the lead number. And the reason why is you cannot directly affect your income, right? Like it or not, you cannot directly affect your income, right? So you can't just like clench your fists and like grit your teeth and close your eyes and uh, will commission checks and just magically pop into your mailbox. I wish, I wish that it was true. Okay. If I knew how to do that, that's what this webinar would be on. Okay. But that's, you can't directly affect your income. Right. But what we found after analyzing literally thousands of real estate businesses from solo practices all the way up to huge brokerages is that there's always one leading indicator. There's always one factor that correlates directly with your income. And it doesn't matter whether you're an amazing agent, whether you're an average agent, or whether you're a downright sloppy or downright crappy agent, okay? There's always one factor that correlates perfectly with your income, and that's the number of qualified sales leads that you put into your pipeline every single month, All right? So you want to you guarantee that you make a certain amount of money every month? You need to guarantee that you put a certain number of leads into your business. And it will be a lagging indicator, okay? It'll take time for those leads to go through the sales cycle and end up closing and, and, and turning into a commission check for you. But that's the leading indicator. That's what you should focus on. So what you'll see from the calculator is that leads needed from my example is 1,171 for the entire year, okay? When, when we break it down monthly after we factor out a little vacation is 105 leads per month, okay? Now, a lot of you guys are looking at that number and you're thinking, oh my God, I've never gotten 105 leads in any month, let alone done it for 12 months straight. I'm out. I can't do it. Okay. So before you say that you can't do it, let me reassure you, not only is it doable, it actually should be easy for you to set it up on autopilot using the playbook that I'm about to teach you today. Okay. But before you do the playbook, we need to know how many leads you need to generate because there are some people on this depending on your market and your goals, you only need 30 leads a month. And then there are other people that might need 170 leads. We have one agent uh, in Idaho. His name is Kyle. He generates 175 leads month in and month out. And that's what he needs in order to, to, to hit his team goals. Okay. So figure out what your lead number is. And then we'll use this playbook that I'm going to show you to get there, but it can be easy. You can set it up on autopilot. And more importantly, a lot of people assume that if you're generating 105 leads, that it's like, it's like Facebook ads, you know, where the leads have to be nurtured for two years. They're really crappy quality. They're a pain in the butt to call. Not the case. We focus all of our playbooks on generating leads that are already in the search phase of the buying cycle. So these are people that are going to close in the next 105 days, which is we're going to get to that in just a second. OK, but there you go. There's how to find your lead number. That's lesson number one. OK, so you guys are going to have to take a few minutes this afternoon and do this and figure out what your lead number is. And by the way. I'll give you guys an opportunity at the very end of the webinar. Make sure you stick around. There's going to be an opportunity for you to link up with somebody from my company that will actually find your lead number for you. It's 100% free. We don't charge for that, but I'll give you an opportunity at the end, so stick around. All right. Lesson number two is three things you can do today for a closing in under 30 days. And if I know you guys like I think I do, this is the lesson that everyone's waiting for, right? What are the three things you can do today to guarantee a closing in the next 30 days? And the first thing you have to do this doesn't count as one of the three things, okay? But the first thing I have to do is we're going to have to dispel a myth, okay? So there is a myth that you cannot control when your deals close, okay? Feel free to jump in the chat, okay? How many of you guys don't really believe that you can control when you, when you have closings, right? In fact, we even see it when, when, you see, when you bump into one of your colleagues at the store, or you see him at the office, and you say, hey, what do you got working? Anything, you know, anything good happening? Okay, how's your business going? What do, what do we always say? Well, fingers crossed. Hopefully, we'll close at the end of the month, but we'll see, right? So even when we have a deal that has a set closing date, we still don't feel like we're in control, okay? So how can I guarantee a closing in 30 days when even somebody that has an accepted offer can't guarantee a closing in 30 days? Well, here's how, okay? It's a little statistics lesson. So raise your hand if you hate math or even if you love math, but you never took college statistics, Okay. This might feel really intimidating, but it's actually really easy to understand. So what you guys are looking at is a standard distribution or a normal distribution, also known as a bell curve, okay? And here's what it represents when it comes to the real estate market, okay? Most people, when they become a lead, are going to close 
in around 105 days from the time that they enter your pipeline, okay? So most leads are the halfway point between three and four months. So they come into your pipeline and you become aware of somebody that has real estate needs that's gonna buy or they're listing their property for sale. They're gonna close within 105 days, okay? That means be under contract in escrow within 105 days of the moment that they come on your radar, okay? And this represents 68% of people, okay? So this is dead average, is right in the middle of the bell curve. And about 34% on each side, okay, is going to be right in that range. This is where most people are going to be clumped, right around 105 days, right between three and four months. Are you guys with me? Okay. But what statistics also teaches us is that there's a very few people, a very slim side of this normal distribution. They're going to close six months from now or longer. Okay. So once you become aware of them, you're going to have to nurture, 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 nurture. And they won't close for six months or more, okay? According to the, the standard distribution or the normal distribution, it's going to be about 2% of all of the leads that you collect every year are going to close in longer than six months after you collect the lead, okay? If we're being honest, these are the people we want to avoid. I mean, literally, you're doing twice the work, you're working with them twice as long, and your pay doesn't change, okay? So now, obviously... None of us are going to say no. None of us are going to fire the customer as, you know, unless they need to be fired, okay? We'll take the deal, but if we're being honest, although we want to help everyone, why do you want to why do you want to do double the work and only make the same pay? Okay? It means your hourly just got cut in half. It sucks, okay? But here's what else statistics teaches us. One final lesson. By the same token, we know that 2% are also going to be buying in 30 days or fewer. Okay? So if you want to guarantee a closing in the next 30 days, all you have to do is generate a ton of leads, okay? So if you generate 100 leads and your, your lead pool is represented by this standard distribution, we know that 2% or two of those people are going to be in escrow, accepted offer, closed deal in less than 30 days. So you feel like your back is against the wall. You're ready for a closing. It's been slow. You need a paycheck. Don't stop until you've generated 100 leads. I guarantee one of those, or two of those rather, just according to the statistics, at least two of those are going to be closing in the next 30 days. Are you guys with me? So what I'm going to show you, and, and remember, my lead number that I just left off, my lead number every month is 105, which means every single month I'm generating at least two leads that are going to close in the next 30 days. So you need now business? This is the answer. All right, so thing number one, now we're gonna to get to the actual three things. Thing number one is borrow five listings. All right, so what does it mean to borrow a listing? Borrow a listing is really simple. It means going out and asking permission to advertise a listing that belongs to another agent, right? This might, if you're brand new, this might make you squeamish. It might make you worried. It might make your palms sweaty. It's really easy. In fact, we teach a really simple playbook, a script, uh, one phone call, one text message, you can get written permission to advertise any listing in the world and virtually no one ever says no. So in fact, I'm going to drop, uh, this isn't something I, I set up, um, this isn't something I set up before, but I actually have a script for this. All right, so here's another app that we built. I'm going to drop it in the chat. It's callster.io. I just dropped the link in the chat. And when you go there, what you're looking for is the loaner script. All right, so we call this script the loaner. So you go to callster.io and look up the loaner script. This is the actual script that I still to this day use to go out and borrow listings, okay? Now, why are we borrowing listings? Now, some of you guys might have listings, so you have no need to borrow listings. Um, if you've already got tons of listings, maybe you can just use your own listings. But my team, we're fantastic listing team, okay? I think our record is we had 56 active listings at one time, but even when we had 56, we ignored those and we went out and borrowed listings. And the reason why we like borrowing listings is because you can cherry pick listings that are going to bring you really high quality leads. So when you're advertising, whatever you've got, you're just stuck with whatever you got. Okay. So uh, anybody ever have an ugly listing? Okay. Anybody had just like a, like a really crappy listing. Now you're still the best agent to sell it. There's no reason to turn the listing down. Okay. But what kind of customers do you think it attracts? All right, garbage in, garbage out. So crappy listings are crap, 
crappy clients. So you want to get great clients. You want to get those great listings. And so here's the criteria that I use to attract the best customers. Criteria number one is the average sale price plus 20%. Okay. So imagine your sale price, average sale price in your, in your market is like 500,000 plus 20% would be right at 600,000. So maybe we call our, our sweet spot 550 to 650 would be the sweet spot. That's criteria number one. The reason why is that I find that one standard deviation away from the mean means that I can still capture lots of customers. Because remember, picture that bell curve. Most customers are going to be clumped around average. So most customers in your market, if your average is 500,000, most people are going to be buying at 500,000. Okay. But one standard deviation is still going to leave me in a fat part of the bell curve. Okay. I haven't, I haven't hit the tail yet, but what I find is that virtually all credit issues, all headaches, all the stuff that makes me wonder why in the heck did I ever get into real estate? All of that vanishes. It virtually disappears about 20% above the average sale price. So that's criteria number one that I use. And then criteria number two is a plus curb appeal. Okay. So you want great customers. You want lots of customers. Guess what? Beautiful houses attract more customers than ugly houses. And actually, I want to qualify this statement. Okay. So generally, A plus curb appeal will work, but sometimes ugly houses will be great, will be great listings to borrow as well. Right. It's really about sellability. All right. It's really about desirability. So sometimes, in fact, our 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 number one top performing ad of all time was a listing uh, at 323 Whitney Drive. And uh is actually dog ugly. It was like the very definition of deferred maintenance. Like nothing had been done to it in years. It was falling to pieces. It was dog ugly. Um, the picture, you couldn't even make it look good in a picture to give you an idea. Okay. But it consistently generated 10 to 15 leads every week. And it did this for like six months. And the reason why is it still had desirability. It was in the best neighborhood. Okay. So desirability could be price. It could be neighborhood. It could be curb appeal but you want a house that you know is going to be in high demand. Those are the properties that you want to borrow because those are going to attract tons of leads in your market. Okay. So thing number one is borrow five listings. I need you to get five because there's no guarantee that any one listing is going to yield you tons of leads. You need to diversify with five different listings. Okay. You can get my exact script at guerrillarealty.com slash loaner, but I also dropped a faster way to get there. It's an app that we built. It's called, uh, callster.io it's 21 plus proven real estate scripts from us and from other real estate coaches and one of them is called the loaner you can get access to it there it's awesome okay thing number two is you're going to run a craigslist ad for each listing now this is where realtors heads start exploding wait craigslist are you serious craigslist doesn't work nobody uses craigslist anymore but nothing could be further from the truth so here's what we know about craigslist and feel free to fact check me this is available it's information released by pew research company okay a higher percentage of people shopping on Craigslist are college educated. They have higher credit scores on average by 40 points, which is massive in credit score. Okay. And they're richer. They earn about $20,000 more per year than the background rate. And so what that means to us is that Craigslist leads are a dream. And so why do, why do realtors have this persistent belief that nobody shops on Craigslist or Craigslist is only low in leads? And the answer is most of them don't know what they're doing, okay? But let me just compare the top lead sources side by side for just a second, okay? So let's compare Facebook ads. Facebook ads are really popular today. They're really cheap, okay? So if you're smart, you can run Facebook ads for, and, and you can get leads for around $4 a pop. Or if you're really smart, you'll hire somebody and they can generate Facebook leads for you for about $4 a pop. So it's really cheap, which makes it great. The problem is, is that they have a low closing rate. It's about one in 42 leads will actually close. And the reason for this is there's no buyer intent. People don't get on Facebook to shop for real estate, not generally, okay? When you're scanning your Facebook feed and the ad pops up, you might get seduced by a really sexy ad, okay? But there's no buyer intent. That's not why you got on in the first place. So the reason why people get on Facebook, what is it? Does anybody know? It's so we can check up with our high school classmates, make sure that we're still cuter and, and more successful than they are, right? That's why we really get on Facebook. And so if we get sucked into some great real estate ad, it doesn't mean that we're a high quality lead. And I think that's why you see these low closing ratios. Okay. Now let's compare it to another top lead source, Big Z or Zillow, right? The problem with Zillow right out of the gate is that it's expensive. Okay. It's about a thousand dollars per month per zip code. And you're going to have to front that for several months before any deal closes. So you might've spent 10 to $12,000 before you get your first closing. 
and your first closing isn't even, a, unless you're in a really high end market, your first closing won't even cover the spread, right? So it takes a long time for you to start generating a positive ROI, right? Anybody ever invested with Zillow? Raise your hand and jump in the chat. Anybody ever invest with Zillow or considering right now? That's the problem. The good thing is that you're going to enjoy a really high closing ratio. It's about one in 20 leads will actually close. And the reason why is that when people get on Zillow, they're there to buy something. They're, they're going to be moving. Okay. And so, you know, you have the buyer intent and that's why they have a really high closing ratio. So that's good. All right. Now let's compare it to Craigslist. Now Craigslist like Facebook ads is cheap. It's actually free. It doesn't cost you anything unless you're in New York or San Francisco, which both charge a really nominal fee to post a Craigslist ad. It's free and you're going to enjoy the really high closing ratio. So one in 20, it's actually one in 19 and change. We just rounded to one in 20. It's right out about Zillow. And the reason why you're going to get the similar closing ratio is that it, there's buyer intent. So people get on the Craigslist search engine or they, they end up on a Craigslist ad from Google because they're looking for real estate and they're looking for off market listings. They're looking for what's not available on Zillow and they end up on Craigslist. And that's why you have the high closing ratio. And the reason why it actually edges Zillow out is that you don't have to share these leads. If you know how to capture these leads that are searching on Craigslist, you don't have to share them. Whereas with Zillow, they're probably sent to somewhere between six and eight other real estate professionals. They're going to be calling them the same day as you. Okay. So Chris, if Craigslist leads are so great, how come I've never been able to make it work? And the reason why is number one, you don't know how to write a great ad. And number two, you don't have the right lead capture tools. But if you can fix those two things, you can turn Craigslist into a lead generation machine for you. It's really the only playbook that you need. Um, we use up to 11 different playbooks, but Craigslist is by far the most powerful one that we use in the whole stack. Okay, so now let's talk about how to write the ad because you're gonna wanna get this part right. It can be very tricky. Now, we put together a downloadable resource. I'll share the link again in the chat at the end, but it's gorillarealty.com slash ad examples. So it's plural, gorillarealty.com slash or gorillarealty.com slash ad examples to get the downloadable resource. But I'm more interested in you guys getting the principle behind the ads. You can copy and paste the, the examples that I gave you and just tweak them for your listing. But it's more important that you get the principles behind the, the ads uh, so that you can go out and write your own. Okay? So first of all, do not list the price. Huh? Right? Isn't that what people want to know? Exactly. Right? So don't list the price. We want to maximize their curiosity and we want to turn that curiosity into action at the end of the ad. So there's going to be a call to action, right? So don't list the price. It's very important. Next, limit your photos to just two or three exterior photos, okay? So many times when people post ads, they're so proud of their photographer that they hired, or they're so proud of the pictures they took themselves that they go out and they post 47 photos, interior, exterior, every angle. They've got like seven pictures of the external shed alone, okay? It's not needed. In fact, you're gonna basically destroy all their curiosity. You're gonna satisfy it. So there is no curiosity left. So what I like to do is exterior photo photos only. Specifically, I always exclude the master bathroom and the kitchen, because that's what ladies wanna see the most, okay? So limit your photos. And then finally, five selling features. So most, most realtors fall prey to the notion that you have to be a novelist. You have to be Charles Dickens to write a great ad. You don't. Start with a bullet list of your five favorite selling features and let that be the entire ad. That's it. And then finally, at the bottom, there's got to be a call to action where they can get more info, where you capture their information. Okay. I'm going to show you the, the lead capture tools that we use here at the, end of the, at the end of the webinar, but I'm also going to show you like a poor man's way that even if you don't have lead capture devices, where you can use your phone as a free lead, to, lead capture device. If you have a smartphone, or any phone that accepts SMS text, I'm going to show you how you can use your phone as a free lead capture device. Okay? Now, thing number three is get some lead capture devices, right? So there's three that I recommend. You need to have a lead website, a website that is built from the ground up so that when somebody goes there to get more info on a specific listing, before they get that info, there's lead capture, okay? I'll show you the one that I use at the end. Next, you need a text autoresponder. So this is where somebody can text a unique property code to your phone and it will automatically reply with the info they're looking for so they can get that info on their phone versus on, and we all know millennials would rather get the info on their phone versus on a website, okay? And then you need call capture because there's still a segment of the population that will never be com comfortable with text. They would rather dial a number, get on the phone, listen to a recording, and then go from there, okay? And have touch tone options and all that. It will be a lower percentage of your overall leads 
but they're still there. And when you do capture them, they're extremely high quality leads, right? So baby boomers have money. I know it's a novel idea to want to buy real estate and actually have money in the bank, but they have money and they're going to close faster. So these are, these are awesome leads and you want to want to make sure and put yourself in a position to get them. Okay. Now, if you have all three lead capture devices, it will literally double the number of leads you generate from any Craigslist ad, but you're only going to be at 20% of your potential until we get to lesson number three, which is building an evergreen system that runs on autopilot. So let me show you a general outline of what it would look like for you to have an evergreen system that brings you deals on autopilot. This is what it would look like, okay? So first, you have to have some kind of lead playbook, and I've showed you our Craigslist playbook, okay? By the way, for time's sake, I have to be skimp on the details, but I am giving you guys a chance to download our actual internal Craigslist playbook. I'm giving you a chance to download it at the very end of this webinar. So if you're like, hey, I wish I could go back and watch that all over again, don't worry. It's better to download the playbook where you can literally walk through each formula, each step-by-step -step process. It links to all of the different, uh, you know, all the resources that I showed you. It links to each one of them and it takes you through step-by-step. -step. And I'm going to give you a chance to download it at the end. This is the actual internal playbook that my company uses when we hire somebody new to do our lead gen. We give them this and say, hey, go knock yourself out. And we're generating like 200 plus leads a month from it. Okay, so we're going to give you that. Um, it's something you normally only get when you're a paying customer, your subscriber. We're just going to give it to you. Okay, and you can get access to it, download it, keep it forever. Okay, so first of all, you need a lead playbook, which is any strategy that when you go out and execute it, you're going to get names and phone numbers of people that you know are buying in the next 105 days. Okay, and then you're going to need to put it in some kind of CRM system. So really quickly, I'm going to share, if you guys don't have a CRM system, I'm gonna share another free app that we've built. It's 100% free, it's called Pipeline Database. I just shared it in the chat if you guys wanna check it out. Um, and we're not jealous. If you have a CRM that works for you, keep using it, okay? But if you don't have a CRM, you need to get one. So Pipeline Database is an option. It has two-way texting. It's got ringless voicemail. It's got a power dialer built in. It's got a lot of really cool features that make following up easy. Um, and it's totally free. Like that's the, that's the best part is we give it away for free. So pipeline database, but you need to be running a lead playbook and putting it into a CRM. Okay. From there, you need to feed those leads into a very consistent follow-up process, right? So this means a series of phone calls and text messages. This is not when you turn somebody over and you plug them into a drip campaign. An email drip campaign will never sell a house. Okay. Is it a way to keep your name in front of somebody for a year or so if they're, if they're a really cold lead? Maybe. Okay. But in general, most of you guys who are relying on drip campaigns could be making a ton more money from your, from your lead pool if you're making phone calls and sending text messages because in 2020, that's how you create relationships with people, okay? So you're gonna be plugging them into a consistent follow-up process, which we do, and this is what's gonna result in consistent commission checks. So you guys remember at the beginning of the call, I asked, what city are you in and how many deals you want to do? And I, one of my favorite stories is I was doing a webinar back in November of 2019. And um, I asked that question and there was a pretty new agent. And she said, you know what? I don't care how many deals I do. I just want to be constantly in escrow. And I thought that was such like a great mental image, a great vision of what most agents are striving, like what I myself am striving after and have strived after for the last 10 years. And of course, we've achieved it. But how many of you guys, and feel free to jump in the chat. I know there's no raise your hand feature, which I'm really missing. But how many of you guys, that's what you want. You just want to constantly have another deal in the works, right? You want to constantly be an escrow. All right. So now I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm going to show you the system and the tools that we use. This will be like two minutes and stick around. Because remember, I'm going to give you a chance to do two things. I'm going to let you, I'm going to give you some homework. And I'm going to let you download the actual Craigslist playbook that we use to run this strategy and it links to all the different resources, has all the formulas and has like a check, uh, step by step checklist at the end to make sure you've done it right. Okay. But I'm going to show you the system that we use to build an evergreen process so that we're bringing our, ourselves